Hello everyone, Satorn here doing a Let's Play of Cambodia. We're ranked unrecognized 113 in the world, so that's going to be pretty tough. We are also a tributary under Dynam, so that's going to be something we need to rectify as well. At some point, it may take a while, we may have to stay underneath that for quite a while. Um, we have a population of 712,000 people. Our literacy is at 20%, so it's not too bad. Standard of living is okay. Uh, our government's absolute monarchy, and it looks like the landowners, yes, are ruling the roost. So we're probably going to have to do something about that as well. Um, I think we also have some modifiers, which would be nice if we look here under the overview. Yeah, so we have Indo-Chinese forest, so logging industry throughput is plus 10%, so we may want to uh, lean on that a little bit. Our infrastructure, though, hurts and our state construction efficiency, probably because there's so many trees. However, we do have the river here, which is going to give us a plus 20 infrastructure. So overall, the country is also split. So we're also a split state, meaning we technically do own this, uh, or we have the rights to this, but... Siam has it right now, so that's something we may want to get. Take a quick look at our laws. Monarchy is totally fine. State religion is okay. Peasant levies, you can maybe switch this over to professional army. We're probably going to want to do that because uh, the landowners, I think, yeah, they're definitely the only ones in our government with a cloud of 51%, and they have a huge amount of bonuses, right? So this is how a lot of the unrecognized smaller nations start with. So we're going to definitely want to free that grip up. Um, so, yeah, traditionalism, we want to go to agrarianism for sure. What else? Schools and health we could do at some point. Serfdom, that's got to go. So we'll tr try to work towards that in the next 10 years or so and try to get that all straightened out. We have no institutions. So, yeah, we're going to lower the landowners. We're going to probably we'll do it right now. We're going to probably get the monks in as well as, well, maybe not the monks. We'll get the rural folk in the armed forces. We'll take a minus 26%, but that's not a huge deal. Uh, it doesn't matter if our laws take a little bit longer. And the first law we're going to start to work towards for sure is to get rid of serfdom. Let's try to get that abolished. Only 13% chance, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, there's nobody else who is willing to really join this anyways. So we'll get that rolling right from the beginning and see what we can do. Uh, as far as technology goes, if we want to go agrarianism, I don't think uh, we're going to worry about production or military at all. We're really not going to do any fighting. If there's any fighting, it's going to have to happen by uh, someone who's going to help us out, one of our allies for sure, someone who wants to step in. Production, we'll definitely do that second. We'll, we'll definitely start looking at that. Um, but I think what we want to do is go to academia so we can open up romanticism, and this will allow us to get our agrarianism. Let's take a quick look at the market. We're part of the Vietnamese market. So you can see here, Dynam is the only other people part of it. As far as trade goes and trade routes, we don't have a lot of convoys at all. So I'm not going to really worry about that. We'll look locally and figure out what we could do. Most likely it's going to be wood. Hopefully this will tick up and there'll be a huge demand here because uh, that is where we have some of our bonuses. I'd also like to see maybe over here we could do some meat for luxury and then that'll also give us fabric. Some of that beginning construction stuff, I'm pretty sure between us and Dynam, there's going to be a pretty big need there. I'm not sure if we'll do a construction sector to start because our economy is not really the best. You can see here our money is only 889 in the positive, so it's not not great. We even may reduce the military. One thing real quick before we unpause, I definitely want to check out the diplomatic situation. This is one thing I think a lot of people don't look at close enough. Uh, so we can see Cambodia here, and again, the AI is derpy, so I can understand why, but Dynam right now is protective of us, and they should be, right, because they're our overlord, um, and everyone else is cooperative, so nobody else really uh, cares about us that much. I think one thing we want to do and look at is Siam, because they are kind of our enemy. Uh, the great Ching doesn't like them, and of course, Dynam doesn't, so this is great. So I think, honestly, this is one of the first people we'll be improving relations with. Uh, if we use the Great Ching in any of our wars, that would be great. So it's always good. Uh, I mean, again, the AI kind of makes decisions that they want to make, but at least let's lean it into our direction by uh, you know making them happy with us, and then maybe we'll be able to luck out and get them into a war. Uh, that'll be beneficial for us. So let's see. A couple weeks in, wood prices are soaring. That's 65%, which is really good. So we're building it up. I did go the route of trying to have another construction sector. However, it is costing us a lot because the wood is outrageous. Started a war to see if we could get Cambodia whole, and we're able to get uh, Great Britain on our side. So they're supporting. So let's see what happens. We now have all of Cambodia. Thanks to Great Britain. We do owe them an obligation. We didn't even have to war. We just kind of bullied them around. Maybe we could have gotten more uh, before getting this obligation with Great Britain. We could have done a different type of war, but I think this is decent enough. Uh, we did grow up in population by quite a bit, and actually we got a great building, which is one thing that made me happy as well, is we got the Angkor Wat, which we're able to get plus 25 prestige, which is good. However, our monks are going to be a little bit stronger. Well, serfdom has failed a few times. We're going to go back to that. We were able to enact professional army, though. So this, again, will be a 25% shift, I think, over from the landowners. Let's see really quick. 
uh, on this law, which would be nice. So we had uh, levy or peasant levies here, which was giving a plus 25% to uh the landowners now it's going to give plus 25 percent to the armed forces so not only is it taking away from them but it's also increasing our armed force strength which is good uh overall this this is great so we'll go back now give it another shot let's so we're at a 12 percent chance for serfdom hmm, maybe we'll have to choose something else but honestly that's giving them such a big boost i think we're gonna try we're gonna have to try it again anyways Serfdom has been abolished. This is huge. So the landowners lose 50% political power, which is great. So we're going to have to figure out what our next law is going to be. Probably uh, if we can start getting some education, some literacy going. But this was uh, definitely a huge win. Landowners are definitely not very happy at all. Agrarianism has also passed, which is awesome. So this is good because uh, we get the investment pool now. I'm very excited about this. This is a great direction for our economy. So we got a war going on where we're going to try to take Chompansak. It's uh, I'm probably destroying that name. We uh, ended up having Dai Nam take over the war. And then we have the Great Britain with us. But uh, the Siamese allies are quite a bit. They have the East Indian Company. They have the Dutch East Indies, which are huge. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty big. So it's like 239 versus 267 in power. So they have more. I'm hoping we could grind them down. So we'll see. The cost of war has already been a little bit high on our side, but we have a lot dead too. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see if this one works out. So the Dutch East Indies has capitulated. So I'm assuming for the rest of the war, we're at minus 43% now. We should hopefully be winning this. We'll see. The war has ended. So we are a little bit bigger, which is nice. We still only got a split state here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it's still split, but at least it's another state. We're slowly <laughs> increasing. Uh, we're biting into the Siamese and uh, the Siamese market now has to be open to the British, which they'll be happy about for sure. So taking over, even though it's a split state, we still got some great stuff. We got some two logging camps. Uh, you can see some cotton plantations, tobacco, bananas. So it, was, it was worth it. Again, for us, we're so small. Any gains is pretty big. So Dynam has started a customs union with France. So now we're part of the French market. So let's take a quick look here and see what we got. I mean, there's a lot more going on, which is good. Uh, there's a lot more need for wood and some other aspects here. So, wow, that's totally opened up our market. Uh, we have to see what we could do now to help uh, at least our country start making some money. But, whew, man, the tech that they have compared to us is outstanding. Religious schools have passed, which is great. We have a plus 10% education access. That'll help with our literacy. Plus 20% conversion. That'll help with our discrimination. And plus 10% uh, political strength to the monks. That's okay. But overall, this is great. So we're heading in the right direction. For 10 years in, we made some great strides. Our uh, GDP is now up to 2.1 million, which was that was from 248,000, which so that was a huge increase. Our pop went up to 1.07 million, where we were only at 712. Our uh, standard of living went up pretty nice, 9.8 to 13.3. So that was a pretty big jump. Literacy also has gone up 5% already. We went from 20% to 25.9%. Our ranking in the world is now at 99. We also gained a few states here. So, well, actually, we ended up combining Cambodia to what they're supposed to. And then now we're getting a little bit of Laos. So we're making some waves. Nothing crazy yet. But uh, also in our government, things are going quite well. We're agrarianism, which is awesome. Uh, we've also gotten rid of uh, serfdom, which is really, really good as well. We have a professional army. So... Overall, even though the landowners are kind of still the leading group, they're still not as strong as they used to be. What's the plan for the next 10 years is to grow is number one, but two is really it's going to come down to money. Uh, we cannot have more than one construction sector right now. And even now this isn't fully employed and we're going to go bankrupt. So our building capacity has been really, really poor. And that comes down to our economy. We're again in the French market now. So we got to figure out where we could squeeze in some profits. It's really hard when you can't control your own market. So we're going to have to figure out what we can do there. Um, also, we got to get our new state kind of under control. There's a lot of unemployment going on here. It's just because we have no peasants. So we're going to have to try to get some migration going on. We may have to change some laws for that. Speaking of laws, you should probably take a look at this. Uh, what I'd like to do is potentially slavery. I would like to get rid of that. A land-based taxation to per capita taxation will give us a plus 2,000, uh, which would be really, really good. So this is, I think, what we want to work towards, but we got to look at our tech, and I think we got to get, yeah, currency standards. So that'll be a plan for sure. Um, again, eat into the Siamese, see if we can get um, any more land there. Maybe down below, uh, Johor's looking nice, or maybe Parak. 
Uh, I don't know. We're going to have to try to get some fights. The, the more land we take, the little bit better. Everything else now is kind of uh, people are happy, right? Overall, our radicals are a lot less than our loyalists. So we're in the right direction. Um, and it looks like hospitals are going to be coming in, hopefully, uh, within the next year. So that's kind of the plan. Let's see. I hope you all enjoyed this video of the first 10 years of our Cambodian Let's Play. If you like this type of content, hit the like, subscribe, notification button. They're free. And as always, for the swarm.